what's going on guys so this is gonna be something different than just gaming content this one um, those of you that know about my RAM I have a 2015 RAM there she is nothing special she's lifted three in the front two in the back running stupid oversized tires just did a install here show you the goodie that down there is the pulsar from edge now install wasn't bad once you got the clips out down here is the pull levers to pull the PCM off of the factory PCM back there, the silver piece. Um, be careful when you do it. This truck's got 115,000 on it. Uh, this clip down here that holds this arm in. Let's see if I can get down in there. The clip that holds this arm broke due to the heat from the motor because I don't have heat shield or anything on the motor anymore nor on the hood um, that clip broke so just be extra careful I had to take a screwdriver and pop it down in there and make it uh, come undone to get it pulled off other than that install is pretty simple it comes with three screws once you get the PCM off you just push the pulsar unit onto the stock PCM repeat the process of what so you did this is probably gonna be a three part review um, so right now I've just been running stock mode stock mode MPG sits roughly roughly right around 14 without towing uh, later this month me and the family have a trip planned where I will be towing my big trailer uh, it's a 20 foot enclosed behind this loaded with camping gear side by side fuel tanks um, when that updates I will let you know on my fuel economy gain or power gain but now just to kind of show you what it does once everything boots up here okay so right now you see that it's sitting in my fuel economy right now that's where I sit usually on stock to access it on this dash this FM right here you need that in your center if you can't get to that you scroll down here to screen setup info line and make sure that's on audio when you get to that point that'll come then you come over here you hold you push the cancel button and you see that should change it into economy mode and of course using the up and down on your cruise control here you will see so that's up so you got tow tow no NDS performance performance no NDS and then you've got stock stock with no NDS and then economy and then economy with no NDS And through all that also if you hold the cancel button it'll pull up where you got different tune like different settings you can run so tire size axle uh, you can read DTC's if you do it it'll pull up a list right here that you scroll through 
then you can clear DTCs. And then to get out of that, you just push the cancel button, and you go back to where you're at. Back to your tunes. So, through the install, I did a initial test drive. She is more punchy. She does want to get up and go a little quicker. Throttle response performance is outstanding. I, if you barely tap the throttle, you will lurch and jump. So be prepared for that. I'm going to run about a week on a new tank of fuel. I'm going to go top off. I was down about a quarter of a tank. Um, my daily commute's like seven miles one way. So here in about a week, I will have another video. Thank you.